see what we have in the story basket. This story is called The Snowy Day and it's written by Ezra Jack Keats. Oh wow, what a snowy day it is. I love it when we have these books we can open them up and we can see all the cover shows us this picture and this story actually won a Caldecott Award. Wow, what an honor. The snowy day. Let's see what Peter's up to on the snowy day. Woo, that looks like fun. The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. Wow, how exciting it is to wake up and look out the window and see that. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. So Peter lives in the city. Crunch, 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 his feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointed out like this. He walked with his toes pointed in like that. He's making tracks in the snow. Then he dragged his feet feet slowly to make tracks and he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. Oh, I can see where he found it. This is a track for his feet but that's where he found something else and started making a new track. It was a stick. A stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. I don't think that's a very good idea when you're standing under it. Nope. Down fell the snow. Plop! On top of Peter's head. Uh-oh. Oh, he's off for a new adventure. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight. But he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. Because they throw hard and it hurts. I wouldn't play with them either. So he made a smiling snowman. And he made angels. Oh, he's good. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great, big, tall, heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. Up, 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 up. Ooh. He picked up a handful of snow and another, and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. I don't think that's going to work. Because if he wants to keep a snowball, you got to keep it cold. You can't take it into a warm house. Hmm. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and thought and thought about them while he's in the warm bath. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket where he put that snowball. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He 
felt very sad. Well, where did it go? Did it make that wet spot on his coat? I think it did. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. So the next day he's going to play with the friend. Wow, that seems like fun. Just don't try to keep those snowballs in your pocket. I don't think that's going to work. Do you? The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats.